And our first main topic today gets submitted to us by Eddie Jessam, who writes, Hey, John and Aaron, if she's there. Unfortunately, uh, I should let you guys know, um, you know, I was going to do this week's show completely solo all, all week. And then I was talking to Aaron. And I realized, you know, Aaron's had to miss a few weeks and she's got some travel coming up pretty soon. So she's going to miss some more. So last night, me and Aaron decided she was going to be on the show today. But then a studio called Aaron into the studio to audition for a, a pretty good role on the last second today. So that's why Aaron's not here. Otherwise, she was going to be here today. Anyway, let's get back to it. Hey, John and Aaron, if she's there. I hope you're sitting down, man. The nominees for the 2021 People's Choice Awards just came out. And they actually nominated Thunder Force, one of the worst films in history, as Comedy of the Year. Oh, and Fast 9 is nominated for Movie of the Year. I'll just grab my popcorn and wait for your thoughts. All right, thanks a lot for sending that in. Okay, so look. Uh, yeah, the nominations for the People's Choice Awards have come out. I've explained this before. But I will, I will just kind of make my point here again. I think fan-voted awards shows are totally pointless and useless. Now, I know there's some people who think it makes themselves sound cool by saying, I think all awards shows are pointless and useless. Okay, you feel that way. I like the Academy Awards. I like the fact that you have... 7,000 actual artists and filmmakers, directors, producers, actors, musicians, designers and cinematographers and writers, actual film professionals who together at the end of the year vote amongst themselves as to what they want to honor in the areas of excellence in the execution of their art. And if you think that's pointless, you feel that way. Good on you. You're a cool guy. But, but for me... I, I actually do feel that way about audience voted award stuff. And the reason I feel that way about audience voted award stuff isn't because, oh, John, you're just snobby. You don't think the average person should have an opinion? Hell no, that's not what I'm saying. I am an average person. I don't work for a studio. It's just this. I don't see any value in awards that are voted on by people who have seen seven movies this year. Seven, maybe eight, maybe four. You know, when Twilight gets nominated for Best Picture at one of these award shows, you know it's being voted on by people who saw four movies that year. Three of them were Twilight movies, and one was probably a SpongeBob thing. John, don't you dare crap on SpongeBob. I'm not trying to crap on SpongeBob. Just, I'm just using that as an example. That's all I'm saying. The People's Choice Award is one such thing. And if you've ever wanted a glorious example of just how ridiculous this rewards thing is. Yeah. They nominated Thunder Force. Thunder Force is absolutely one of the worst films ever made. Now, that's all subjective. Fine. I'm just saying that from my own personal point of view. Perhaps some of you enjoyed it. And if you did, that's great. But I'm here to give you my point of view. And my point of view is, it is simply one of the most awful films ever, ever made in the history of cinema. It's absolutely atrocious. It's absolutely atrocious. And the fact that it got nominated for Best Comedy, let's let's take a look at this. First of all, here are your, your nominees for Best Picture of the Year, okay? For Best Picture of the Year, you've got Black Widow. Listen, I like Black Widow. I do. I liked it. That's a nominee for your movie of the year? Oh, please. Coming to America. That was just bad. I love the original Coming to America. This was, Coming to America was tragically disappointing. Fast 9, the Fast Saga, is nominated for Movie of the Year. Now, then you got some good ones. You got like Dune, No Time to Die, Shang-Chi, and The Legend of the Ten Rings. But Tomorrow, I like Tomorrow War, but whatever. Venom, listen, I really like Venom, Let There Be Carnage. You guys know I like Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Venom, Let There Be Carnage as movie of the year? Oh, okay, now look, if that doesn't tell you by itself right there, if that doesn't tell you all by itself how serious or any credibility or any attention we should give to these 
audience voted on awards. I don't know what else. Oh, you know what else does? Let's look at what they nominated as comedy of the year. Okay, now granted, granted, I, I will confess, this has been a pretty weak year for comedy, so I'm sure they gotta, they're going to be stretching a little bit. But here's your nominees for best comedy of the year. Coming to America, Free Guy is great. I mean, I'll give it that. He's all that. Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard, which I'm pretty sure even Ryan Reynolds, who is watching this show right now, good afternoon, Ryan, uh, I'm sure even Ryan Reynolds is looking at the inclusion of Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard and going, what the fuck, what? Anyway, Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard, Jungle Cruise, Space Jam, A New Legacy. Now look, I'm a LeBron James guy. He might be my second favorite basketball player of all time. And if you're, I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys to see if you guys know who my favorite basketball player of all time. I'll just keep half an eye on the live chat there. If you guys got any, any guesses who my favorite basketball player of all time is, I put in there. But I'm a big, oh my God, the very first guess got it. Tokai number one said Bird. Yep, Larry Bird. A whole, crap, a whole bunch of you guys knew it was Larry Bird. Yes, Larry Bird is my all time favorite. Larry Bird is my all-time favorite basketball player uh, and maybe my all-time favorite character in the world of professional sports. But anyway, but I'm a LeBron James guy. I totally am. Space Jam is not good, okay? Space Jam is not good. But again, it's all subjective opinion. Space Jam and New Legacy. Uh, Thunder Force, which we'll get to in a second. And Vacation Friends, which I also thought was really rather not good. Uh, again, I like John Cena. I'm a John Cena guy. I, I am. I, I like John Cena a lot. I don't know if he can carry a film, but I'm really entertained by John Cena. That that Vacation Friends was not good. It had its moments, but overall not good. But let's let's talk about Thunder Force. It, and I don't want to waste our time going off on a whole Thunder Force diatribe. But again, this is just a great illustration to anybody paying attention of why we should not be paying any attention to the People's Choice Awards. Thunder Force is absolutely one of the most brutal, awful, terrible movies ever conceived of by mankind. I don't have it cracking the unholy trinity of the three worst wide-release big Hollywood movies of all time. That still remains. Battlefield Earth, Halle Berry's Catwoman, and I love Halle Berry, but Halle Berry's Catwoman and Highlander 2, The Quickening. Those, to me, are the three worst big Hollywood films, wide-release Hollywood films of all time. So Thunder Force does not quite crack the unholy trinity, but I'll tell you what, it's high enough on the ladder that it can see the top. I mean, this movie, it's, it's, absolutely, it's amazing how bad this movie is. And here's the thing. It's called the People's Choice Awards. The people didn't like it. It's got a 22% audience rating, which, by the way, I would love to find out what those 22% of people are smoking, and please let me have some. And 21% of the critics like it. Guys, that means one out of every five critics watched Thunder Force and actually liked it. I think these numbers are way too high. Again, it's all subjective. It totally is. But I think these things are way too high. These, that's 22% is low, but it's still way too high. 21% critic rating is very low, but it's still way too high. So again, Space Jam 2 is nominated for Comedy of the Year. Fast 9 is nominated for Best Picture of the Year. I don't know. So yeah, there's that. I mean, <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said you're just going to get your popcorn and sit back and watch me react to this. But yeah, it's, it's again, it's just to me profoundly ridiculous. And one of the reasons why, and it happens every year. Like every year, the People's Choice Awards happens, right? Or like the MTV Movie Awards, which is also fan voted. And then people go, John, you didn't cover the MTV Movie Awards results. How can you not cover? You know, I'll be doing a show. It's like, how can you not cover it? So because it's not real. It's not a real award show. You know, John, you didn't cover the People's Choice. No, and I won't be covering the results. Just spoiler alert. When the People's Choice Awards happens this year, I will not be covering the results. Just letting you know, so brace yourselves. I won't be covering the results. So anyway, yeah. Anyway, guys, 
What do you think about this? Like, look, I, admittedly, maybe I'm being overly hard on it. Maybe you guys see value in the these fan voted on awards that people who've seen six movies should have a vote into what is best movie of the year. But I don't know, maybe there's maybe there's a point here that I'm overlooking. Maybe there's an argument here that I haven't considered. Whatever you guys think about this, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.